She was given her first camera when she was just 16. And since then, she's made this her medium to make a statement. Changing what people think is beautiful or what's not. As she pulls into focus everything that society finds flawed about the human form and dares you to skip or look away. Her name is Katria and this is MTV Generation Change. If you're constantly only seeing positive, beautiful images of only certain kinds of people, it's going to start getting into your head thinking like, if I don't look like that, then I then can't. I'm not beautiful. I'm not beautiful, I, I cannot have what they have. It's important to actually try and help people to get out of that mindset. Do you think there's like a conventional standard of beauty? There is definitely a conventional standard that's happening right now. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think that right now, it is the only kind of beauty that people are celebrating. I feel like if we try and celebrate more kinds of beauty, then a lot more people would be happier with themselves. How do you feel when you see your photos? It was a feeling that I've never felt before, being seen in that way. As a person who has been living with psoriasis for the past 12 years, I spent a lot of my years and my effort and energy hiding behind my skin. And for Kat to recognize me just the way that I am, I feel like I can be myself again and I feel like I don't have to hide anymore. Back in the Philippines, well, I'm known as like a beauty queen. Being a beauty queen, the first thing people judge is like physical appearance. I feel like I'm still constantly trying to remove the beauty queen stigma because they think like a beauty queen is big hair and like always like poised. So you want people to see you for yeah, I want who people you are. Yes, me. That's what I want to achieve as well. Everybody just wants to be seen as the way that they are. I have. I actually have a lot of people on Instagram. Messaging you right yes, after it, probably she posted the photo, right? And actually, yes, they the photo, actually right? told me it's that beautiful. they cried. They cried seeing this photo because they have never seen any representation the thing. of skin conditions. So it's always been like perfect images of models. Yes. Like... What's it like being recognized now? Terrifying, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> in some ways a blessing because I do believe that there are very important messages here that I'm trying to convey. Skinsugi is actually derived from a Japanese art called Kintsugi where they fix broken things with gold. The cracks are highlighted rather than hidden. So that's what I try to do with people as well. It's highlighting imperfection as the aesthetic of beauty itself. So instead of the whole, you highlight the imperfection. Yes. I really like this because I have a scar on my knee, but I used to be very insecure about it. So this is definitely something I wish my younger self saw because I'd always try to hide it or like remove it, but this makes it look beautiful. I'm just trying to expand the horizons of what beauty looks like, you know. I want people to start seeing that there are many different types of beautiful people out there and hopefully for them to also see that reflected in themselves. We put so much of our lives out there on social media and it feels like we're constantly being scrutinized and critiqued. And all you can see are these perfect images day in and day out. It could be difficult. But through our photography, Kat gives us extraordinary images that rewires the way we perceive things. And through her art, she makes us start conversations about conventional standards. But it's up to us now to find our own beauty. How you want the world to perceive you? You have the power to be you. I want to uplift people through my art. I'm thankful it's resonating with so many people and how they relate to it. Don't put your value in other people's hands. Your worth is for you to decide. I'm Katria, and this is MTV Generation Change. <laughs>